Hello everyone, in today's video we have this nice exponential equation. We have 27 to the power x minus 9 to the power x is equal to 0. And we have to find the value of x. I'll be using two methods to solve this problem. So let's begin with the first method. From this method, let's move this negative 9 to the power x to the right hand side. So that the equation will be... 27 to the power x is equal to 9 to the power x. Then from here, let's go ahead and then divide each side of the equation by 9 to the power x. Now the left-hand side of the equation could be written as 27 divided by 9 or to the power x and this is equal to 1 because any number divided by itself is 1, right? 27 divided by 9 is 3, so we're going to have 3 to the power x is equal to 1. So we have 3 to the power x is equal to 1 is the same as 3 to the power 0. Now you can see the bases are the same, so straight away we have x is equal to 0. So this is the first approach, right? Now let's begin with the second approach or method. Right, we have 27 to the power x minus 9 to the power x is equal to 0. Now from this approach, 27 is the same as 3 to the third power, then or to the power x minus 9 is also the same as 3 to the second power, then or to the power x, and this is equal to 0. Now from indices, if we have a to the power m, or to the power n, this is the same as a to the power m times n. So we can write the equation as 3 to the power 3x minus 3 to the power 2x, and this is 0. Now let's pay attention to this term over here. We can rewrite this as 3 to the power 2x plus x minus 3 to the power 2x and this is equal to 0. From indices once again, if we have a to the power m plus n, this is the same as a to the power m times a to the power n. So we can write this as 3 to the power 2x times 3 to the power x. Then we have minus 3 to the power 2x and this is 0. We have 3 to the power 2x, then we have the exact same thing here. So we can factor it. We have 3 to the power 2x times, we are left with 3 to the power x here. Then from this term, we are left with negative 1, and this is equal to 0. At this point, we can say that 3 to the power 2x is equal to 0, or 3 to the power x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now let's pay attention to this equation. 3 to the power 2x is always greater than 0. If you try to increase the value of x over here, this whole thing will keep on increasing. Then if you reduce the value of x, this whole thing will reduce but will never get to 0, right? So it means that the equation over here has no solution. Now let's pay attention to this equation. From here, let's make 3 to the power x the subject. So we have 3 to the power x is equal to 1. And this is the same as 3 to the power x is equal to 3 to the power 0. Since the bases are the same, it means that x is equal to 0. And this is pretty much it. So now that we know the value of x to be 0, we can go ahead and then verify our answer. From here, we have... 27 to the power 0 minus 9 to the power 0 is equal to 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1, so we're going to have 1 here, then minus 1 again. And of course, 1 minus 1 is nothing but 0. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.